Hello guys, welcome back. It's Never Paul here. Sorry for going. Uh, like um, I've been off for like few months back, so I'm back right now. I've not been uploading videos you know, with my audio bird. Today I'm gonna do so. Today we're gonna do a slider image. We're gonna do a carousel. You guys call it carousel, but we're gonna design it with Adobe XD. So these are. Uh, good video that I did uh, back then I recorded it like it was a long time but I didn't have time to uh, upload it this year to um, edit and upload so I decided to upload like I, I edited it like um, a few days ago now I I want I have uploaded it so that you guys can learn so what I'm going to do I'm just going to uh, show you guys how to get started. So as you can see on my screen, I just uh, took the design that I did and uh, copy like duplicated the um, Artboard With the design and uh, what are you, you can see me doing here. I'm just creating a square uh, rectangle uh, rectangles that I'm gonna use to match them with the, the designs that I'm gonna do so whenever I move the the um the images i will not be i will not get confused uh where i place the other one so this one will just be like a sketch of the sliders so whenever i move the other sliders on top pro back i will not be confused so let's just draw for each and all um it will take a little bit long but i'm gonna i'm gonna speed up the video so that you guys can understand So we just, uh, I just uh, spaced the, I just created the rectangles. Now I just hated them so that I can move the this slider here, uh, the image to where the first image was, so to position it to um, the same place that the first image is, so that we can have that animation whenever we click on the next. So another button to switch to another image that we have here so let me just call them video because you can see it's like a video here it has a play button so i want to move the play button to that so what you do you first um pull the first uh, the second image on top you make it sure that it's on, so it's on top of uh the others and then you just duplicate the artboard then move it to where the first image was move it to where the first image was so i'm gonna do that real quick okay so we're gonna go and uh, check uh, we make sure that our grouped rectangles that are visible so i'll just click on the i button that you saw me clicking there and make sure i pull i make sure that the re first rectangle to be on top of the others because we want to um get we want to hide the others so that we can move our image to the first rectangle that you can see that i've left it um uh, that you can see on the screen so I'll just um, move my image to that place there then make sure that it fits to with the rectangles so that we can have same dimension so length or width as you can see it does fit so what we do we just hide that rectangle and see our result no that it's not that one it's that one so as you can see we just created that and now we gotta make sure that we move the other the other one to the last so yeah because it's switching it's switching from that so we're gonna move these others to where the triangle the rectangle is so that's the third image that i'm moving to the second rectangle because i know uh for now you ain't understanding anything but you'll see what i'm trying to show you guys so i'll just move it there and make sure it 
um, it's the same size length of width with uh, what we have here so as you can see I'm trying to adjust it so that we can have same measurements uh, okay so we just uh, just make sure you press shift so that you can have good like even even um, length of width of the image that you want to move to your triangle so uh, rectangle I mean so I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure it fits as you can see I'm just trying hard to make it fit so uh, let's move it let's move it here let's try to adjust this part okay don't okay guys I recorded this audio after just doing this video so yeah maybe you understand what I mean so make sure that it fits in well that's what I'm trying to achieve here so that we can have a good animation good sliding effect when we click on these buttons that you see down here so that's it we we're gonna hide that rectangle to see if we have what we wanted so as you can see we just moved it here successfully so now we go to the fourth one so I'm gonna try to check which is the fourth one so it's that one so I'll hide it I'll make sure that um, I hide it first so that I can select the image that I want to use so I selected it so I'm gonna use that image are we gonna move it to the default rectangle that is the fourth or the, the third rectangle you know yeah there's a third a rectangle so we gotta make sure we do the same as we did in the other um, image making sure that the dimensions are same so I'm gonna do this real quick I'm gonna fast forward the video So we're done with that so I'm gonna uh, hide that and uh, now we're gonna work on the first image that we replace it with the far cry image so as you can see it's a full valorant image so I'm gonna do I'm gonna hide the uh, valorant um, now the far cry um, image which I grouped it so as you can see we have the valorant one which we did not we haven't done anything so I'm gonna move it to the last uh, to the last uh, box now the small one that uh, it's like our fourth rectangle which is what you can see on the so that you guys can see I'm gonna move it there so to save time I'm gonna fast forward it so that you guys can see now we have what we wanted so i'll just uh, hide that so you can see we have the far cry we have the uh, playground and that and that so we just switch the positions of the uh, images uh, so that we can have the animation so what i'm going to do i'm going to throw prototype it so that you guys can see so we'll try to uh first we'll draw we'll animate the second app but then we're gonna move this animation so I'm gonna click on um, when you click oh, note time but I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna click on easing is out I'm giving it like a slider of that okay so I'm gonna drag this one there then give it a time up there Okay, that's our main page that we're gonna start our animation with. As you can see, we have that there. We got what we wanted, so. Okay, sorry for that. I'm just uh, showing you guys how to do the animation. So, uh, we have what we wanted. So, by switching from one slide to another, so having a time of um, that. So, what we're gonna do. 
is okay to explain things for the first you can see one we switch to the second ad bow it switches to that ad bow then we have that pretty cool animation so we're gonna trust it out again gonna test it out again so play bam bam then bam so let's just adjust these yeah okay just to see I'm gonna put that to zero because we don't want any then auto animation then we're gonna we're gonna change that to um, okay I'm just trying to see You want it to be a little bit first so when we click on that it switches just like that and snaps like that so guys you can see that's a beautiful animation there okay so that's our preview just sorry for the pop-up thing that you could see there we just want to do the animation so what I'm going to do I'm gonna um, try to remove that then we click on that then whenever you click on that uh, let's say this uh, carousel button it will switch to that so we're gonna use click then we're gonna change that to click not time Okay. As you can see, it's taking a lot of time to switch to the tab, so we gotta uh, we gotta adjust some things, you know. Okay, so I just realized that what we we're doing, what I was doing wrong, is just I was I, I did not uh uh any I do not change the delay to zero because we don't want any delays when the second app board is switching to the third app, but we don't want any delays we want zero delays you know so I'm gonna test it out again as you can see I've changed it so we're gonna play there and when we click on these it goes we're so cool so that is the best animation so you guys can see like it's switching to another Apple bird it's kind of auto animated that it can be a bit uh, cool what we're going to do next is uh, we're gonna change the color so that we can have a pink color since we're in the second our second uh, slider or second image or the video we're gonna change that into the red uh, what is this the pink okay let me just say pink yeah maybe I'm gonna change it to that color so that we can have that like it's active now when another uh, image that we want it to be so we gotta do that so we're gonna test it out again so I think yeah so we're gonna test it out when we click on that there it changes to the active color that we gave it so yeah, wow we got a good animation you know so the next thing we're gonna do um we're gonna do these we're gonna apply um i'm gonna i'm gonna try to remove that I'm gonna try to remove that see if uh, what we have but guys don't concentrate very much so in this video I just wanted to show you guys how to create like a uh, slider or carousel so um, component we don't want we don't want to discuss about that we can discuss about that in another video of me showing you creating things with the component so I'm gonna just leave it at that so we and according to a video we are in the right track so we still have that there but I don't know why it's uh, making me disturbed but yeah so what I'm gonna do right now I'm just gonna um, try to get rid of these uh, real quick just change some stuff here so guys don't 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 I concentrate this because yeah so I'm gonna click on that again 
Nice. Nice, it's disabled, so thank you. Thank you, Neville. So we have that, we have what we wanted. We have the, we have the animation. So guys, remember that these same, same step can be, um, can be, can be repeated. So I'm gonna show you like just a sample of what I did. I did create. So as you can see, it's the same, same thing that we did. We are doing in our video. But what we're doing, we're just moving the images to where they're supposed to be. So, yeah, so that's it. We're moving the, uh, we're moving each and every videos to where they tag. Let's say, for example, you're moving. As we did, we moved the first video to the last video and move the second video to the first video. So that's it. Then after that, we're gonna make sure we animate when we're on the last video. We Put like a time time um, time animations that have zero seconds to switch to the first tab when we are on the last we do that so I'm gonna try some things out here so guys what you keep in mind the first thing that we did okay let's just play that as you can see we have a swift animation when we click on that we have like their switching side you see we have a good animation here i'm sorry that i have i was showing you how to like how because the process still is, uh, repeats itself all you have to do is just play around with the moving and also remember where your first image was so where you have to place your second image where you have to place your third image it's just the same step of achieving what you can see it's on the screen so i'm gonna try to adjust some stuff here so yes i'm gonna go back so okay guys so the key thing to remember is what we did in the first uh first image or oh, the first apple or oh, the second apple and the third apple is it applies to all the other artboards so what you do first is create uh an artboard that, that makes the third image on top first then create another artboard like duplicate another artboard that makes the third image to be at the first image way the first image was you know just like that by switching that what you know what you should know what you should keep in mind is just keep track where your how your image are like how you want your animation to flow so what you saw me did on the second and the third artboard it's just you just repeat it to the other artboards that you want to create so it depends on how many images that you have i had only four so i just repeated them to the second and the third image so yeah so also another thing to keep in mind is duplicate if you reach to the fur to the if you want to switch back to the first artboard just create another duplicate another artboard down there as i did then make sure you put a time effect that switches back to the first artboard smoothly the which it's un unnoticeable so let's try it again so we're gonna click on that again we're gonna click on that when you click on first it already switched to that so as you can see we have a smooth sliding effect that we have done with adobe xd so guys show me some love by just um subscribing to my channel and also support me on patreon um oh, the link will be down below so subscribe share and like leave a comment to watch video you want me to do ciao